All right, hello guys. This is uh, my response to Diabetic Nigga Forty Seven, which is my friend's channel. This is a response to his video called his QRF loadout. Um, uh, if you ever watch that video, he says that there is another person on his team, part of that QRF, which is me, and uh, we both are QRF meaning Quick Reactionary Force. Like that's just a little term that we use. Like we're not actually badass. You know, military guys. We just use that because our airsoft team, the way it's organized, is we have two teams and what we call our QRF team, which me, my friend, and other people eventually will be part of. But what we mean by that is when we send out the two teams, which are, say, the left and right of each other, a QRF team would go either left or right, depending on which team needs more help. And uh, when you have a moving team like that, the QRF team, it kind of helps you put surprise on the enemies. So say the right side's getting engaged, you go help the right side. But then the left side's starting to get engaged, the QRF moves and helps them. But they move within the team so that the right side can still stay where they're at and say move up to another objective. It just allows each side to be able to move up and get more help whenever they need it. And uh, keep kind of keeps a surprise on the enemies as to what's going on. Um, we're not. For for sure how this is going to work yet next Sunday from now um, uh, is our first match in which we're actually going to be facing a team and testing this theory of QRF and all that and we're going to see how this works out um, my loadout pretty much the mentality behind it is just lightweight but effective so that I can still be helpful but I need to be able to move between the two teams as fast as possible so um, uh, yeah, just lightweight and effective, pretty much what's going on. Uh, now let me explain everything in it here. I think I'll give you a pose, just real quick. I got stuff in my garage. Okay, now I'll just explain everything in it here. I'll start head to toe. Uh, helmet, Mitch 2000 in black. Uh, got off the internet. I got a rhino arm on it. Which is a replica, not a real one, but it's full metal, so I mean it's cool. Uh, nylon strap, of course. Uh, the Mitch did not come with all the Velcro on it. I had put that on myself. I got a positive blood type and a flag on each side, glowing the dark flag, so pretty sweet. And then I have the infantry patch right there, and nothing on the back, but I got Velcro, so I can put like a name tag if I ever got one. But I don't know where to get custom made uh, name tags. So, not yet. Um, as for neck, I have black shigma. This goes with the helmet. I'd get an OD one, but uh, I ain't got enough money right now. All my money is going to other stuff. BDU, this woodland, raid modded. I did it myself. Um, the pockets are a bit low style because of those style BDU. The patch was already on it. So I just had to move the uh, pocket a little bit lower than usual and had to make it match on the air side. I got the wolf there for my call sign. It's a timber wolf because my call sign is timber, as you see in my other videos. And uh, here I just got medic, uh, and then I got that cross. I don't know if that's medic or not. It might be, might not be. And then it says airborne because I like airborne guys, but, you know, I never jumped out planes or nothing. Um... What else do I got here? As for a vest, I have an MOPC. And for those of you who don't know what that is, that's just the Condor's, uh, I guess, replica of the 6094. It kind of looks like it, how it's got like the curved chest. But uh, that's an OD green. Um, I have an admin pouch in Woodland. And then again, I have the team patch, which is wolf pack. So I just got a wolf on there. Just a gray wolf. Uh, it symbolizes, you know, this wolf's in general for us at least, and then individual wolves represent your call sign. Um, radio, uh, Marola talk about, just keeping communications with my team. I got a wedge in DPM, and uh, that don't really necessarily blend in with my whole woodland loadout, but you know, it don't matter, because I don't care that much, and I'll probably be laying prone a lot. Then I got my EMT, uh, it's full of like level one kind of stuff like peroxide band-aids ice packs burn ointment etc and then back here I have a pouch if say I want to get my radio off my chest because I wasn't talking to someone I don't want to get shot I put in that pouch right there 
or anything else I find. Um, here I got my canteen pouch, and I have all my knickknacks in there. Uh, rail guards, orange tip to my gun, just in case the police get involved in any way, shape, or form. I can just throw my tip back onto my gun, not be illegal anymore. Uh, other patches I took it off for whatever reason, and screwdrivers and tape, and I think that's it. Um, for mag, oh yeah, I forgot. I got a double mag pouch there also, so I got five mags plus one of the gun. So run six, I guess you could say. Uh, nothing back here, but on my very back I have a tan hydration carrier, and I carry a 2.5 liter bladder in there. So yeah, I'm good on hydration. Then I got an Alice belt with uh, a gas M40 gas uh, mask pouch, um, which I run as. A dump pouch, and I also have a dump pouch on the other side of that, which is on my belt. I don't know if you can see that that well. Right there. And that way it's got two dumps forever. I can also run this big old black pouch for utility for whatever reason, really. If I got to pick something up real fast and throw it in there. Um, and that's it. In my admin, I just got a notepad and writing material. And for my gun, the boy CQBR M4, which is seen all the time. Got the Kill my on there so I look legitimate. And that is it, fellers. Yeah, for my pants, just BDU pants. Um, now I'm just going to say something that uh, is actually happening. I bought five more mags, so I'm going to be running more mags on the loadout. And uh, tomorrow, because I couldn't buy it tonight, because my mom said, I'm buying Thunderbee grenades, so tomorrow as of today, May 18th. So on May 19th, I'll be ordering Thunderbee grenades. So if you don't know what those are, you should probably look them up. But they're just pretty much like an airsoft flashbang. They make a sound at 130 decibels, so it doesn't hurt your ears, but still distracts the crap out of you. And you can fill them up with smoke, BBs, whatever. Well, you don't really fill it up with smoke, fill it up with like baking powder. And uh, it makes a nice little distraction so you can do your business. Dispatch guys or whatever you want to call it all right well i guess i'll give you guys another turn around here so you can check it out for yourself and yeah i guess wish me luck if you feel like it at my game sunday and also anyone else out there are soft and good luck to you and kick some ass okay i'll just give you some poses and then that'll be it see you guys I had to take my glove off because it won't register.